Hello strangers. Today I'm playing one of my favorite games. It's quite a nice game. And if Derek Derek, if you're watching this, you're gonna love it. Here it is. Resident Evil 2. Now I got this game for Christmas last year played through took me to about new years so yeah this is gonna be the second annual resident evil 2 christmas playthrough now second because you know like i said i did this last year this is gonna be the first one recorded so yeah let's get into it play this beautiful game and i've played this game a lot like way more than just around Christmas time. So I you know, I know my way around this these controls. And you know, I think this year we're gonna start out with Claire. It's quite interesting. It's gonna go standard, nothing crazy. Uh, here we go. Now I'm probably gonna change the costumes real quick, but don't worry about that. Look, man, I'm serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe that you. That burger looks disgusting. Tell us the story. Tell us the story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. I was walking home from the bar, and this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering. Oh, no, I think the so graphics and stuff drunk. in this game are pretty good. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now. How many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You got to see her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse. I'll never believe like a this. Walking corpse, man. He's talking Sounds about like a wife. zombie. I've never seen anything like it. Oh. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm Throwing down, shots buddy. at his calm wife down. like just, that. Hey, Classic trucker. Okay, don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. Up around these things, they'll sink to teeth. Oh, come on, just getting good. Oh. That doesn't matter, does it? I need some sleep. Oh, shit. an interesting start to the game. The classic old typical trucker man listening to some radio. You know, eating his burger. Talking about his wife. You know, just casual stuff hits a zombie woman in the middle of the road. But you know, that happens all the time. You know, that's nothing great. Nothing great. Bet his wife's not that zombie for him. So look at that. Here's our yeah, I'm protagonist. Okay. You know me, I'll be fine. Sounds good. I'll be back as soon as I find Chris. Gas in Raccoon City. Pretty cheap. I will, but I gotta Pretty go. cheap. Why does everyone think I'm gonna get in trouble? Yeah. Silly people. What the? Well, turns out I didn't have to change costumes. I already got the alternate alternate well? styles. Anyways. Alrighty. Check this place out. What's going on in here? Hello? Anybody here? I like that camera work right there. A little Hello? spooky. Hello? Hear that? Are Where you know? okay? You alright, big man? Wait here. I'll okay. check it out. 
it's not vague or cryptic or creepy whatsoever. Let's see what's in here. Excuse me, is everything okay? Uh, stay back, man. I got this. Man, took a bite like he was a gummy. Don't come any closer. Now, uh, in my time having this, in my love for this game, I may or may not have done a couple of speedruns. So if you see me avoid a couple zombies or do some kind of crazy little thing, it's because I'm used to it. Speedrunning and getting through this thing. But don't worry. It's not going to be a speed run. I'm going to get out of here. Oh. Wow, who's that handsome fellow? Don't shoot! Get down! We got to get out of here. You all right? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later when we're safe. The dynamic between these two, man. It's great. Too bad they like rarely ever see each other. Almost to like the point where they don't see each other ever again after this game. Hold on. Oh, not in time. But anyways. Oh yeah, and um, what's going on? I don't know. I got a capture card and a laptop, so Wait, you're a cop? anything seems a little different. Yeah. Leon Kennedy. Got and some you better are? equipment. Claire, Claire Redfield. Live around here? No, I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Oh, well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. Classic Raccoon City. Home of Umbrella. All these opening credits were great. Sweet little cityscape. Once again, graphics and animation, please sit. Attention all citizens, due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. Oh my god, this is so unreal. Police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Man, would it be interesting to see yeah, but something like this happen in real life? we're the only ones where there's no survivors. No, there's survivors be terrible but Big like there has to be interesting at the same time like just see how you would do against a bunch of zombies in the apocalypse or like apocalypse of your city looks like we're walking from here but I mean it could be a possibility that you know your city and government decide to Make your town to get rid of all the zombies, like but you never know. Yeah, good call. That's what I would do. But that's just me. Leon, you gotta back up. What the? Holy 
this shit. There, get out. Get out now! Well, this seems like a predicament. Hold on! Doesn't seem too pleasant. How do you know? Oh, wow. That was definitely my reaction to the explosion, nothing else. I actually got Resident Evil 3 before like I got this game. But later on I learned that Resident Evil 3 takes place both before and after Resident Evil 2. So it all it, it pretty Station. much worked out. Almost there. That's quite interesting. station Inside too. David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. Send reinforcements. East hallway. Well then. I should help this guy. Look at Claire, being a hero. Yeah, this gas station key probably isn't going to be of any use to us after, you know, leaving the gas station. Also got an idea. You know, after being a professional at this game, you do tend to unlock a few things. Now this isn't going to ruin the playthrough, nor is it gonna give it an advantage. Actually, uh, infinite ammo might be some sort of advantage, but you know, nothing too much. So let's not mind that. It's a cool gun, so that's my excuse. Real quick, I also want to say, Claire has this knife on her shoulder. It's there and everything, it's in the case, holster, whatever it is. But we can't use it. It's like she ignores Focus. it completely. Focus. And uh yeah. I just wanna point that out. So if you notice that, I just wanna let you know I do too. Oh wow. Ammo. Useful. Nice little place we got here. Old camera. 
something of which I do not have. Which is also why I don't have a face cam. <laughs> That's some interesting information. What a strong, independent woman. I'd love to see it. <clears throat> Got a reflection? Nope. Some dirty ass windows. The clean toilet water. It's kinda weird, but you know. Doesn't matter too much. Well it's not for me. Place you got there? Raccoon City. Oh, oh my God! Ah, can't get in there. Open up! Hurry! Open up! Open this goddamn door! I'm here. I always thought this open guy sounded like the mayor uh, from Hurry up! Girls. Hurry up! Open it! Uh, Larry, give me your hand! Help me! Like uh, when he's yelling, you uh, first hear him. See you now. Going through the zombie apocalypse must be a pretty traumatizing thing. Especially for this man who's had such close contact. I'm so sorry. I don't think he'll be walking away from this one anytime soon. Wow, I think this memory is gonna follow him into the afterlife. I don't think he'll be able to really just put his foot down. Forget about it. Okay. Fine. Precision aim. I wish I knew I had to. Really accurate. Sick. Anyways. I would not prefer to say it. Let's scurry on him. Whoa, it's in. I found him. He's getting really close. I really think he doesn't fight my leg off or something. Watch out! You alright? Yeah. Yes. You're safe. Now. Marvin. Marvin Brana. Thanks. Obviously, so Marvin taught you is well. the goat. Yeah. I'm just letting you know. I know how to take care of myself. Come on. <clears throat> Too bad. Our boy is injured. So nobody knows what caused this? Make a great ally. There's a lot of theories. But all I know for sure is that this place is crawling with zombies. Yeah, it's on me. Hey, hey, keep that on. Just in case. I'm not gonna be around long. Once I find Chris, we're out of here. You really Chris's sister? Yeah. Why? Should you find something? Too bad I don't have vacation. Resident Evil 1. Europe, I think. Left weeks ago. Vacation? Let's... Because if I had great. one, well, I've got more for that would you. make sense to play first. Looks like there might be a way out through this secret passageway. Anyways, too late now. It doesn't matter. Hey. Hey, we should probably get you to a hospital. Oh, forget about me. I can take care of myself. No. Don't be ridiculous. You're going to need some help. Listen, Claire. Save yourself. See? So you can see your brother. I've been always willing to put himself before others. Or no, whoa. No. Whoa. That's not it at all. You probably need this. Putting others before no, himself. I'm not taking that. You're Marvin is a true G. And be careful. Best man on the planet. If you see one of those things, no matter who they were, you can't hesitate. Take them out if you can. Or you run. 
By the time this playthrough is over, you're gonna love Marvin. You're gonna think he's the best cop you've ever met. Oh wow. Look. Ah. This looks handy. Maybe that handy dandy notebook we got from that officer can help. See? Look at that. What a kind, generous man. Willing to take a step forward and help us. So what, let's see, what was that? Alright. I got that genius IQ memory. So I'm gonna get this first try. Obviously. Think. Ah, <laughs> yeah, you. You know, you just like that. Anyways. Whoa. Dropped my audio hearing device, also known as what one might call an earbud. So Elliot was right. Yeah, but we're not out of here yet. Thing that kind of sucks, uh, sucks in this game is that knives have durability. I mean, I guess it makes somewhat sort of sense, but like, it really just sucks. Zombie skin feels what? like. Who's there? You? Cause like, I'm not trying to be weird or anything, but it just looks like it'd be like rough. It'd be kind of like sandpaper or something like that, I guess. I don't know. It's not like it matters too much. What you know? Blah blah blah. September 25th. We're returning. Whoops. We're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. Reasonable. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority. We try to accommodate as many of them as possible. Ah. Uh, September 25th, once again. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was very quickly uh, quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. September 26th. Mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it out safely behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, It'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. <clears throat> Not sure we can fix any of our comm equipment. That sucks. So we remain cut off from the outside world. Terrible. September 27th. There was another clash on the west side of the station around 1pm. 12 people died and there is only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray in here. Oh, 
Poor man just wants to snack. Hit him with that shot for shot, you know what I'm saying? Gunpowder. That's great. Wow. Where might we? Where what? Blah, blah. Where might we be? West office. Oh, it looks like a safe that needs a code. Huh. Okay, guys. I'll be back. One second. Ah. Well, guess what, guys? I definitely didn't just watch a video posted by the man who goes by the name of Light on YouTube. Definitely didn't take a West Office safe code tutorial. But you know, that's not the point. Let's get on with life. The operation report, whatever. Leon S. Kennedy, we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. The key to your success is in the initials of our first names. To put the letters in order to uh, input the letters in order of our desks. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officer's names, but you figured that much out, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. Oh, Lieutenant Branagh. See, Marvin, what a goofy little fellow. Where's that noise? Okay. A little cryptic, a little creepy, but you know, we've heard worse, I guess. Just for some clarification, I am not going to turn that into a short. You can't see me, but I'm winking right now. Anyways. Get out of here. Okay. Wow, this man can take some shots. Oh, 
Hello. Suicidal zombie, I see. Let's go. Let's see. Safe room. Interesting. Sweet. Nice place you got here. We can combine herbs. I didn't know. Well, here's a save. Well, I guess this would be a nice place to take off for the day. Hope you guys enjoy this part one of however many might occur so yeah see you guys soon in the next one bye